This video will show you the proper technique for irrigation of a nasogastric tube. Prior to the procedure, please be sure to complete the following steps. I'm going to place a towel over the patient's chest, kind of off to the side a little bit. I'm going to then begin with checking placement of the NG tube. So to do this, I'm going to take my irrigation kit again. I noticed that I have um, a good get graduate and syringe because it is dated and um, labeled, and I know that it has not expired. I'm going to take the syringe, clamp the NG tube, disconnect the suction, and rest that on the towel. this on the towel also or I can put it in the, the irrigation kit. Connect my syringe, let go of the clamping, pull back on the syringe, observe for gastric content returning into the NG tube, return that gastric content and I have just completed verification of the NG tube placement. Clamping the NG tube again before I disconnect the syringe and I'm going to plug it temporarily here. The next step that I will do is to fill my graduate with either normal saline or with water, whichever the physician's order indicates. And I'm going to then follow that by filling my syringe to the appropriate amount of irrigation fluid that has been set by the physician's order. If there's no specific order, as far as the amount of fluid to irrigate, roughly 30 to 60 milliliters will be sufficient. So I'm going to pull this back to 60 milliliters of water that I have in here. I'm then going to take the NG tube, clamp it on itself, remove the plug, insert my irrigation syringe. Keeping this in an upright position, I'm going to slowly advance the plunger. Until I have the full 60 milliliters of fluid into the NG tube and into the stomach. Once I have this part, I have two options as far as completing the irrigation. One option is to manually remove the irrigation solution, and that would be by keeping the syringe attached and drawing back an equal amount of fluid, which will have some gastric content in it, into the syringe. My other option is that I can, after I instilled the irrigation solution, I can clamp the NG tube, remove the syringe, and I can hook it back up to suction. So I need my adapter there, and I'm going to hook it back onto the suction, and I can observe the irrigation fluid coming back into the suction canister. To finish off irrigation, I, would, I need to rinse out my syringe so that there is no gastric content in it. And I am going to fill my syringe with 20 milliliters of air. I'm then going to remove this blue piece from the blue pigtail. Keep that handy. And I am going to flush the blue pigtail with 20 milliliters of air. The purpose of this is to make sure that this lumen stays free of obstruction and will therefore complete its job as the air vent. I will replace the blue end of the plug into the NG tube because this acts as the air vent and I will position it above the level of the stomach behind the patient 
patient's pillow or somewhere where it can be secure um, on the bed. This completes irrigation of an NG tube. Following the procedure, please be sure to complete the following steps.